News. We're continuing our coverage of Hurricane Laura Patrick. Some people are wondering how this storm compares to Ike and Rita, and what about the paths of all these storms? Okay, um, I don't think we're really going to know the answer to that question until we get this on shore. But uh, with this setup right now, it's going to be a very similar track to Rita, maybe just to the west a bit. Um, as far as winds, I think it's going to be pretty similar as far as that goes right now, as long as it doesn't strengthen. All bets are off if it strengthens. And as far as storm surge, I think it's going to be very similar to, to uh, Ike back in 2008 from what I'm seeing here compared to what uh, happened with Ike. And Ike uh, obviously submerged 87, uh, 73 went under, and so did 365. And we had problems along, obviously, the uh, Hill Hillebrand Bayou, uh, obviously with uh, Bridge City, back over to Orange, the Sabine River, and uh, along the Natchez River. Uh, through eastern portions of, um, of Beaumont. And in Ike, there was water that uh, was blown over the uh, seawall in Port Arthur. That's a real concern for Port Arthur at this point, is and, the seawall. And do you think that this storm may become something of historic? I, I don't want to speculate at this point, but I do think that we're going to have to really pay attention to this. And um, again, if you're in the storm surge uh, warning area, it's a good idea to move on out. Speaking of that, when do you think that, you know, it may be too late for folks? Um, it's what they want to put up with as far as driving. I think by, uh, say, 6 tomorrow evening, we ought to start having uh, sustain, sustained tropical storm winds at this point. So yeah. I would hope that most people, if they're going to evacuate, and I'm hoping everybody evacuates, especially uh, in those storm surge areas, uh, really uh, by by say four or five o'clock in the afternoon, if not sooner. Okay, yep, get out if you can. You know, we've been talking about this a lot. Storm surge is of course a concern and a lot of people have been asking um, specifics on how, like how many feet do you believe that we're going well, to Well, we were just showing that uh, again, uh, this is the storm surge uh, modeling. If we go to that graphic, you can see that uh, that means that uh, water is going to be over the land uh, to a depth of as much as nine feet and through uh, sections of uh, Jefferson County, Sabine Pass, West Port Arthur, and along Highway 87, as you can see, even along Hillebrand Bayou, it's going to be nine feet above that. Uh, same thing over towards Bridge City, uh, portions of southern sections of uh, Orange County, and along the Bessie Heights Marsh area, up uh, sections of the Natchez River. Uh, as you can see, that's where the track is. So. Uh, uh, that's what we're, what we're looking at right now. It, again, if this track changes left to right, then that's a, a real, a real uh, issue as far as how that's going to affect uh, the forecast. But again, when you're talking about the kind of winds that we're seeing right now, that means severe power disruptions throughout this area for weeks probably. Okay, yeah, T uh, can we go back to that graphic just real quick? If you are in any of these areas, you know, we really would advise you to get out and to get out as quickly as possible. We're going to be talking more about evacuations and stuff coming up at 5 o'clock on KBMT ABC. But again, if you are in any of these areas, we would suggest you guys getting out and the sooner the better. Thanks so much, Patrick. Still ahead tonight. We're